So I thought I'd give a little bit of update on the progress on The Great Bassoon. Um, I have been working with Jared DeLeon on modeling and creating uh, some of the uh, first parts of the instrument. And um, what I have here is the first completed joint of The Great Bassoon. This is what we're calling the lower wing joint. Uh, this is going to house the uh, tone holes for the first finger, which is right here, and this is going to be the only open tone hole on the instrument. Everything else is going to be covered by keys. Uh, the second tone hole is here, the third is here, and around here I have an E flat key. Uh, so if you play conch bassoon, uh, you're very familiar with the E flat key. On bassoon, it would be uh, the E flat trill key that some bassoons have. Uh, so where's the rest of the wing joint? Well, I have one of the pieces here, uh, but what I'll show is I've got, um, this is the, the first print done of the upper wing. Um, uh, ran into a slight problem in the modeling in that we didn't put enough space on here to put the, the bolts on. So uh, this whole upper bit here is gonna have to get remodeled. Or, well, reprinted, it's remodeled now. But, to give you an idea, this is the entire wing joint. So, whoops, I got this turned around. So, what will happen with this is, got a bocal here, this is just my regular bassoon bocal. The bocal is going to fit in like this, under, so it'll be underslung. The actual bocal will be a bit wider and only about 10 millimeters longer than a, tr a traditional bassoon bocal. So the tube goes up, we have a U-bend here, so it's actually a second boot joint here then down, and then through here. And this gives me the entire wing joint. Uh, to compare that with a regular bassoon, got my bassoon here, and let's see, put the joints here. So there, should be able to see them both. So it is about seven inches or so taller than the uh, bassoon's wing joint. Uh, and this is you know, obviously because it is so much taller of um, an instrument. Uh, but the, the, all the key work will, should fit right here. One, two, three. And then of course pinky keys will be on the boot joint, or not on the boot joint, on the bass joint. Um, and they sh they'll need to be fairly close together because of how, uh, where the key here is placed, but works really well. And then over here for the thumb, at least in the prototype, I'm just going to have uh, three harmonic vents and the C sharp key. Uh, interestingly, the C sharp key is not going to be on the, the wing joint, or the tone hole, I should say. It's going to actually go on to the boot joint. And acoustically, that's where it should be on the regular bassoon, but because it would actually go right where the joints split, it's moved up. And if you ever look on a bassoon, you'll notice that area right here is raised up a bit. That's to give a little bit extra length. But on the great bassoon, we're not going to do that. We're just going to have it uh, in the acoustically correct position. Uh, these uh, tone holes here are all designed so that they will be able to take a pad. So you've got a little bit of a raised chimney here. So hopefully for a perfect pad seating. And this will be the only one that's just a standard tone hole. Uh, otherwise, um, I'm currently uh, don't have enough filament to print the next uh, bit. And the only difference in the, the new print is these, there's some wings up here uh, that'll house the bolts. Uh, they're just not wide enough to accept the, the, the nut that'll go on there. Otherwise, this will be exactly as is and I'll have the entire uh, wing joint here. Uh, over the next few days, I'll be working on keywork design. I don't think it will be uh, too, too difficult. Um, really, you just got to get figure out where post placements need to be, and should be able to go from there. But yeah, this is uh, the the wing joint to the great bassoon. There you go. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, at some point, I'm going to be starting to ask for people to write some music for the instrument. Uh, I may write up a. Uh, composition guide to it, um, 
because even what I wrote in band orchestration volume two uh, about the instrument, well, um, that's not going to, to be accurate. I'm actually going to have to do an update on that at some point. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is a uh, part of the great bassoon. Um, uh, once we get the, the this part he, done here, the next bit will be to work on the boot joint. And actually, uh, it's um, it's modeled, but it needs uh, the tone holes put in. So yeah, let me know what you think and uh, ask any questions you have because this is a, a fun project. All right, talk to you later.